The D man. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media. You feel me? <laughs> Yo, it's your boy D's Media back again with another video. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel on the road to 100K. Today, we're going to talk about prosecutors say that Big Juke paid straight drop $100,000 and promised him a record deal if he take out Young Dolph. Let's jump straight into it. Yeah, this Young Dolph trial just started today. Um, I feel like this is about to be a big, a big trial uh, because like I say, Depending on with with straight drop and the other dudes say, you know, this could turn out to be bigger than what, what we expect. But everybody knew this rumor, and but now it's pretty much coming out to be true. You know, Big Juke promised a uh, straight drop a hundred thousand dollars in a record deal if he take out Young Dolph. Now, if you look at it from Big Juke angle, straight drop was close to Young Dolph. At a point in time, um, I, I honestly thought that he was signed to Young Dolph, but obviously Young Dolph wasn't putting him out fast enough. But Juke played that situation like chess, you know, because for him to get at drop, knowing that he close to Dolph and say, yo, I'll give you 100000 in a record deal, drop probably thinking like, all right, this, this, this Juke, Gotti, and CMG, like, dang, this money bag, yo, you know, uh, black youngster like this, well, uh, glow Rilla, like all of these, all of these artists like that that had been, been platinum and made millions of dollars. So when you think to sign the CMG, like a lot of people would be like, oh yeah, but I'm with it, you know. So I guess Straight Drop took that. He took that. Um, he took that hit, you know. And you know, unfortunately, you know, Dolph tragically, you know, um, lost his life and. You know, uh, later on down the road, you know, straight drop. Um, another guy, um, a couple of other people ended up getting uh, caught up in this. It's like three guys that's caught up in the total, you know. Um, but I look at it like this. Drop probably in his mind, this was an opportunity of a lifetime. But if he didn't understand and realize how Big Jip was using him as a pawn in, in, in a major game, you know what I'm saying? Because for you to think about $100,000 is worth your life and your freedom, bro, that's nothing. Then you think about a record deal. Okay, wow, you got an opportunity to make millions of dollars. But if you get caught up and you get arrested or, or you go down, bro, you're not going to see the money or the record deal ain't going to be worth it. So I felt like Big Juke just just used him, man. You know, he got to a youngster that, you know, probably was real eager, you know, to hurry up and, and, and buzz and take off. You got to think he around uh, Dolph, uh, Key Glock, he around all these other dudes. Then he around uh, Big big Homie G and, and, and Moneybag Yo and all those dudes. So he probably thinking it's his time, you know. But maybe Dolph wasn't putting him out fast enough or however the case may be. Because the part that's kind of funny to me was I thought he was Young Dolph Arden. You know, he had a PRE chain and all of that. But obviously, Dolph probably wasn't pushing him or putting him out fast enough. You know, he was putting out what? The, uh, the Glock, you know, Big Moochie Gray, Jay Fizzle, uh, Snoop, uh, Wolfpack. You know, those are some of the artists, you know, he was investing his time and money before he passed away, you know. Um... So maybe that's why Straight Drop did it. You know, maybe Straight Drop couldn't wait no more. You know, maybe him being around all of those rappers and seeing how they live it, he probably felt like it was his time. And then here Big Juke come with an opportunity of a lifetime. Say, I give you $100,000 and I give you a record deal. You know, in the back of your mind, you like, man, this dude that helped break so many artists' career. I'm going to be on stage with Yo Gotti. I'm going to be on his platform. I see how Moneybag Yo just took off. I see how Black Youngster just took off. I see how Glow Rilla then took off. I done seen how all these artists then took off. And maybe he thought it was an opportunity of a lifetime. But, Shorty, you just threw your life away. And look now, you ain't got no record deal. If you did get the money, it's gone. So what did you really get out of the deal? Just to say that you took out Dolph, because at the end of the day, man, your life is gone, man. Your life is gone, man, you know, and I don't, I think that you really going to get found guilty of this, you know. So at the end of the day, take responsibility for your actions. Can't no man and no woman make you do anything. It don't matter if if, if it sound like the sweetest deal uh, in a century. 
everything that glitter ain't gold. You know, he, he thought, he, you know, that was a good lick, a good jug. And at the end of the day, it cost him his freedom, you know. But my condolences go out to Young Dolph and his family, his kids. I know um, it's sad that, you know, they, that they got to relive this situation again with the trial, you know. But hopefully they can get some closure with the verdict or however the case go at the end. You know, but to all my young youngsters out there, all the shorties out there, man, I just hope and pray that y'all wake up, man. Stop letting these dudes get in y'all ear and think that, man, money, jewelry, and fame and fortune is worth throwing your life, your freedom away, or being somebody bodyguard or shooter or stepping for them or whatever, man. Think about yourself, man. You're going to throw your life away for the next man, and then what you going to do? Now, look, I guarantee you God he ain't taking care of his family, his kids, or none of that. Guarantee you. Or then if he is. You know, it still ain't worth it, you know, but it's your boy D's Media signing out. Peace, positivity, network, growth. Let's save these kids. It ain't never too late. We tore these communities down. Let's build them back up, man. I love y'all so much. The D man. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media. You feel me? <laughs>